Hello there, fellow intellectual. My name is Sir William Jonathan Riddich, and I am a scholar and a poet of 50 years, with zero controversies of which we will never speak. I am also the prime scholar of Daryl Genies, and I'm here today to talk to you about the controversy, pain, and mystery of Duckingshire. Let's begin our journey. Now, on our journey, we will answer some of the greatest questions of our time. What is the difference between a duck? How many intellectuals does it take to disprove the theory of evolution? These and many other questions shall be answered, for I am the grandest intellectual of our era, and I will not stop until, until I die. Thank you. Now, young intellectual, I will tell you the story of Duckingshire and all the mysteries that happened there, but there is one thing we must make clear beforehand. I am better than you. Are we clear? Great, let's carry on. They say that the branches of life create the leaves of philosophy. Really? Is this what we're calling the program? It's, it's uncouth. This program that we are creating today is called What the Fuck is Going On? Ugh, I'm gonna clean my mouth out with soap now. I hope you're happy. Now they say that children are the flowers of life. Look at these ugly fuckers. Oh, sorry, <laughs> very unbecoming of me. Hello there, fellow intellectual. My name is Sir William Jonathan Riddich, and we are at the home of many controversies, of which I am not involved, thank you very much. This is what the F-U-C-K is going on, and we are here to find out about the tranquil, yet disgusting town that we call Duckingshire. Our story begins in 1872, in the Leicester Gloucestershire County, the town of Duckingshire was founded on an Indian graveyard, not sure exactly why. The people there were the people of Old Delhi, intellectuals who wanted to practice demonic rituals without the probing eyes of the religious elites. Now the town itself provided land, food and black chalk, which was used for demonic rituals. Often they would create demonic circles or more likely ovals from which they would let out demons, but the man who founded the village, a man called Bob, was unaware of the demonic passages of the intellectuals who made up the grand proportion of this great town. God, now do I really have to sit on this bench? I mean, it could be full of excrement or, or whatever else the common man puts here. Okay, I shall sit. The fateful night came in August 34th, 1878, when Bob was turned by these vile intellectuals into a duck, a sentient duck with sentient powers of mind control and being able to void bowels with a thought. Let's find out more. Now you may ask why this man was turned into a duck. Well, the reason for Bob to be a duck was to scare away anyone who might want to, let's say, mess with these individuals. At that time, there was a southwesterly wind passing in the eastern region and precipitation of 120%. You probably would need your brolly. A little known fact about our protagonist, Bob, is that he was born under the duck birth sign which allowed him to deflect damage while turning into a giant duck. And as the famous saying goes, once you turn duck, you can never go back. Doesn't really rhyme, does it? Well, never mind. Now this man duck Bob became a real nuisance to the party. 
He was quacking during the satanic rituals. He was pecking all of the churchgoers during the demonic prayers. And they decided that something had to be done. On a sunny evening with 12% chance of rain, May the 2nd, Bob the Duck was sacrificed to the gods of Old Delhi. And his powers of duck metamorphosis were passed on to the then cult leader, Sir Billiam Bolathan Bedditch. The powers that Sir Billiam got were eternal life, with a chance of turning either into a giant duck or one made of rubber. Now this final incarnation of a rubber duck was the most dangerous. You see, it looks like a harmless toy, a mere plaything, but once it gets its way in, it will destroy your mind with madness and dementia. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that, of course. Hello there, fellow intellectual. I hope that you will enjoy this new episode. Now, in our last episode, we spoke about the ancient history of Duckingshire and the plot that created the violent and possessed rubber duck. Now, we have a new twist to the tale, a modern retelling. Enter Mr. Cinema Legend. He is a blogger and a hero to about five losers and social outcasts. But he becomes a strong part of this story. Another set of characters were added into the fray. Enter the 50s paranormal psychic investigators who tried to track down Mr. Cinema Legend, but they failed at every attempt. Also, there is the presenter, Truman Freeman, who has been accused of sexually assaulting some moss and about seven trees. None of them have ever found out the truth of what happened on that fateful night and what happened to Mr. Cinema Legend. But I found out, and I shall tell you very soon. This story did not end well. There was a duck slaughter of about 55 individuals. What followed since was a political destruction, a breakdown of society, and the destroying of everything made out of rubber and platinum. 20 years on, we still feel its effects. This massacre lasted for many decades, but the thing about slaughter is you can't spell it without laughter. So, after a time, there was peace. Look, ducks. Ah, to have the life of a duck. It's a life I know nothing about, but I do wish them well. This reminds me of the famous quote from Daryl Genie. A duck in the hand is worth a wank in the bush. After decades of political machinations and death, the secrets of the rubber duck fiasco were stored here in this secret facility. But one mystery was never answered. Who was this were duck? Who was this man formerly known as Bob who became Sir Billiam Bonathan Bedditch? Was he a builder? Was he a painter? Was he an intellectual 50 years who got kicked out of the BBC? We shall never know, and I shall never tell you. So, what other mysteries shall we unfold in this disgusting place? What you find out may damage your neurons and make you blind, but it's important that we find out what the fuck is going on. In the next episode, we'll discover more mysteries of Duckingshire. Thank you and goodbye. Oi, clear off, you're banned! <laughs>